Oh, hello there. Here we go. Yes, it is day three of 31 days of learning English. Oh, hello there. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you happy? Are you happy today? Yes, we have made it all the way to day three with 28 days still to go. I can't believe it. I still have 28 days to do this every single day I'm here with you I can't believe it anyway we are here again thank you for joining me on the third day of my special month of live English and the reason why I'm doing it is because this month I am celebrating my 13th year so I thought hmm why not have 31 days of live streams and that's exactly what I'm doing so I hope you are okay I'm okay not too bad thank you very much by the way I'm still recovering from the cold that I had last week I caught a terrible fever last week from Mr Steve and I'm still getting over it to get over something is to recover so when you get over something, it means you recover. So I am still getting over the terrible cold that I had last week. My voice still doesn't sound right. It still sounds a little rough around the edges. Anyway, I am here. I am standing up in my studio here in Much Wenlock in England. For those who are wondering where I am, yes, that is where I am. I am in a little place called Much Wenlock, which is in England. I hope you're feeling good today. Yes, it is Thursday. For many people, the weekend is just around the corner. However, for me, there is no break for me because this weekend I will also be with you live. Yes, I'm live every single day. And for those who want to have a look at the actual times, there. I hope they are on the screen. Yes, they are. There they are. Look, <laughs> they're on the screen right now. So 31 days of live English during October, Monday to Friday, 2 p.m., Saturday, 12 p.m., just after lunchtime, and on Sunday, 2 p.m. UK time as well. I can't believe it. I really can't believe that I'm doing this every day during October. Also, if you would like to send a donation to help my work continue, you are more than welcome to do so. And there you can see on the screen the address that you can send your donations, large or small, to. And a few people have asked, Mr. Duncan, how can we contact you? Well, you can write to me through Facebook. I have my own Facebook page and you can also email me as well. You can see my email address is on the screen right now. Talking of which, I received a very nice email yesterday from one of my viewers. Luis Mendez sent some rather nice photographs, which we will have a look at in a few moments. Meanwhile, we have the live. Ch oh, hello, live chat, live chatters. So the big question is, who is first on the live chat today? The third day of October and, of course, the third day of 31 days of live English. And I'm here again today. Hello to Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Guess what? You are first on the live chat. In fact, I did notice that Andrew and Sally, I noticed 
that your messages appeared at the same time so this is something very unusual I don't normally do this so today I'm going to give a round of applause to Andrew and Sally you are both both first on today's live stream congratulations to you both of you Andrew and Sally you are both first on today's live chat hello to Luis Mendez Luis is one of the moderators today so Luis will be looking and making sure that no one misbehaves if you misbehave it means you behave badly or maybe you do something you shouldn't you misbehave misbehavior is not accepted in society also on the internet as well Belarusia is here as well also a moderator hello to you Louis Louis hello to Louis Louis watching in France nice to see you here again on Thursday afternoon it is just coming up to 10 minutes past two on a Thursday afternoon I don't know what time it is where you are because I'm not there you see I'm here I'm here in my studio also Mika is here hello Mika nice to see you here also a moderator as well so it looks as if I have three of my moderators here today to make sure everyone is on their best behavior <laughs> Pappy is here hello Pappy nice to see you here today cash trailers TV I am looking for my dog oh I'm sorry to hear that what has happened has your dog escaped you have a lost dog and this happens quite a lot especially here in the UK so this is the country in which I live and I am very aware that these days owning a dog has become very popular have you noticed that I'm not sure what it's like in your country but here in the UK people have gone crazy crazy over dogs they own dogs they own two dogs they own three dogs some people will actually take all of their neighbors dogs for a walk at the same time so it isn't unusual to see one person taking about seven eight or even ten dogs for a walk at the same time so dog owning has become very popular here in the UK and as you can imagine people quite often lose their dogs as well the dog will disappear <clears throat> it will go astray oh I like that word astray so if something goes astray it means it vanishes or it goes away or it goes in the direction it shouldn't so something goes astray something goes off in the wrong direction so something goes astray and also we can call a dog that has escaped stray stray so a dog that has disappeared or run away is stray it is lost and alone so I hope cash that you find your dog soon I'm very sorry to hear that I know a lot of people become very attached to their dogs in fact there is a neighbor not far away from me who lost one of their dogs last year last September and one year later they are still looking for the dog so even though the dog vanished over a year ago they are still searching for it because it means a lot to them so I think it would be fair to say that people do become quite attached and fond of their dogs so I think yes I think that's definitely happening here in the UK hello Anna hello everybody thanks a lot for joining me again Anna nice to see you here Haytham is here as well hello also to Omar Salumam hello to you as well 
and Theo hello Theo nice to see you back again and it's also nice to see so many people watching my live streams so I've been here now for three days doing my special 31 days of live streams hello also to Anna Kobe Amri hello hello Amri Wadi I know I always mispronounce your name for which I apologize <laughs> I hope one day we can meet face to face and then you can tell me directly how I should be pronouncing your name <laughs> Mirella hello Mirella hello Mr Duncan hello everybody hello Mika I'm very well says Belarusia that's good to know also to black hello black watching in Turkey oh Turkey is a country I know very well because I've been there twice in the past not only that but I also made an English lesson in Turkey and that is available on my YouTube channel Yurga hello Yurga nice to see you here today it is my first time here today oh well Yurga guess what whenever someone new says hello on the live chat they always get a super duper round of applause <laughs> pretty good I bet when you woke up this morning you didn't think that someone on the other side of the world was going to send you a round of applause but there they are Christine says I am Christine and I'm watching on my mobile hello you are looking good today thank you Christine yes I'm wearing my shirt today I thought I would wear something smart and of course I am wearing my my union flag tie there you can see my lovely union flag tie and it has nothing to do with Brexit okay it has nothing to do with the UK leaving the EU it has nothing to do with that the reason why I wear this is so people know where I am because some people think I'm in the USA even though I speak with a very broad British accent so there you can see I am in the United Kingdom <laughs> Yerga hello from Ethiopia nice to see Ethiopia here today on a Thursday it's great to see you here the weekend is coming do you have something planned this weekend I know it's still Thursday but a lot of people do like to make plans for the weekend even on Thursday Olivia is here hello Olivia also Rosa oh hello hello to Prashant Prashant thank you very much for your lovely donation thank you on the super chat so there a, a lovely super chat donation from Prashant watching in India thank you very much and yes for those who are able to do it you can send an actual donation on the super chat as well or if you want you can also send one through PayPal and there it was hello Anna Mr Duncan you look very elegant oh, thank you very much I have gone to a lot of effort today so much effort to look lovely for you do I look okay <laughs> so yes I look rather smart today in my in my very formal shirt tie but I'm still wearing my hat because well I am a hat guy that's the kind of guy I am thank you to Berlin hello Berlin greetings from Peru now I have seen some news reports lots of things happening at the moment in Peru for various reasons Christine says dogs ate the best friends of human beings I'm not sure what you mean by that but what I'm going to say is owning a dog 
is very popular here in the UK what about where you are do many people have dogs now I'm going to be honest here I do find my neighbor's dogs sometimes slightly annoying I have to be careful what I'm saying just in case they're watching so I do sometimes find my neighbor's dogs slightly annoying can you guess why can you guess why I find my neighbor's dogs annoying? What is the reason? Mm, indeed. Enver says hello from Turkey. Oh, another viewer watching in Turkey. Nice to see you here as well. Hi, Mr. Duncan. Do you prefer Wales or Scotland? Well, I have been to Scotland. The only problem with Scotland is it's very far away from here however Wales is very near so I suppose if I was talking about distance so the distance that you need to travel I would say that I prefer going to Wales because it's near however having said that I have always wanted to go to one of the very remote parts of Scotland I, I've always wanted to go and see the glens there there are a beautiful beautiful plateau a beautiful range I suppose that's a more correct word a beautiful range of mountains in Scotland called the glens hello cancer hello cancer that does sound like I'm saying something else but yes cancer cancer backer where are you from I am in England right now I am live there you can see live from England 20 past 2 in the afternoon Anna Rita is there really dentists day is that true <laughs> Hello to Belarusia. Apparently, Belarusia says it's dentist day. <laughs> I am very intrigued to find out what dentist day is. Nasia wants me to show what Mr. Steve's car looks like. Well, it isn't here at the moment because Mr. Steve is out working, so his car isn't here. Hi, Mr. Duncan, which country of the flag do you wear or which country or which country's flag? So the flag that belongs to a certain country. This is the flag of the United Kingdom, which is where I live. So the United Kingdom is a group of places that are all together and together they form the United Kingdom. Mr. Duncan, your shirt has been ironed by Mr. Steve. I, I did this. Mr. Steve didn't take care of my shirt. I did it myself. Yes. Even though I hate doing the ironing, I really hate it very much. Ahmed is watching in Egypt. Mr. Duncan, by the way, you look very elegant today. Thank you very much for that. Louis Louis with this great accent you can only be an Englishman but not American some people do think that I'm in the United States but I'm not I am in England the birthplace of the English language let me tell you can I say hello once again to Luis Mendez who has sent me some lovely photographs he sent them yesterday and Apparently, Lewis went out for a walk yesterday because the weather was so nice. Uh, so I thought, let's have a look at the photograph, shall we? This is a place called Parc des Sceaux. You can see the spelling is in French, but the pronunciation is very different. Parc des Sceaux. I hope I pronounced that right. So this is a place that Luis Mendez went to yesterday and he sent these photographs to me. So I thought, well, because Luis went to so much effort to send these to me, 
I couldn't resist showing them today on the live stream so here they are some nice photographs taken and I don't know about you but I love going out on an autumnal day when the autumn air is fresh and when everything is lovely there is nothing better than going out for a walk especially when it's sunny as well there is nothing better than a bright sunny autumn day so I thought yes okay I will show these and thanks to Luis Mendez for sharing them with me so there if you want to send something to me you are more than welcome to I will put the contact details on the screen Mr Duncan at ymail.com is my email address so there's no excuse for not knowing hello from Azerbaijan Zor hello Zor nice to see you here Pappy you don't like your neighbor's dogs because they don't let you sleep very well you might be near but having said that one of the good things about my neighbors is they always keep their dogs inside at night so after darkness once the darkness has fallen across the land all of the dogs are taken in so they are all in the house so actually the dogs don't disturb me at night however and I'm sure you know what I'm going to say however sometimes they can disturb me during the day when they are barking so that is one of the problems dogs do bark quite a lot and sometimes it is rather annoying to say the least people have many dogs in Argentina I like them but I actually have a beautiful spoilt cat says Noemi Noemi Alsur so you have a cat now apparently there are two types of people there are people who like cats and there are people who like dogs so some people are cat people and some people are dog people hello Ali brexit questions oh please can we not talk about brexit between you and me I am completely sick up to here right up to here I am sick up to here of hearing about brexit hello to Rosa hello also to Al also Mohammed is there any difference between Scottish language and English language well they have their own language in Scotland but of course many people now in Scotland will speak English and they do use the English language Akil says hello from India nice to see you here is your neighbors barking is your neighbor's dog barking all day not all day but sometimes so sometimes my neighbor's dogs can be very annoying but not always just in case they are watching right now dogs Lewis who is watching in France by the way I don't like seeing dogs abandoned during the holidays it makes me so unhappy last summer I saw a lot of them now I noticed in when I was in France a few weeks ago I was walking around Paris and I noticed that there were very few dogs around Paris very few people walking dogs very few people with dogs so I did think to myself maybe that owning a dog in France isn't popular so maybe I'm wrong but I did notice when I was walking around Paris I didn't see many people with dogs Zuzika says hi Mr Duncan today I am so busy at work I wish you have a nice day thank you and good luck with the third lesson thank you Zuzika thank you very much for that Nasir is also watching as well asking about Mr Steve's car Belarusia what what were you talking about earlier can you please explain what is dentist's day 
<laughs> can someone tell me what dentist's day is <laughs> hello also to Ma Mangalil and also Louis Louis who says oh I enjoyed Luis Mendez photographs they were very nice so let's go up to date now with the live chat dogs are apparently dogs are trendy so apparently dogs are very trendy apparently that a lot of people in France do have dogs well that's very strange that's very strange indeed because I didn't see <laughs> hello sir is there is there any difference between how are you and how do you do well how are you is is more common how do you do isn't used anymore so no one ever says how do you do never never say that people said it about 120 years ago but not now so people don't say how do you do they might ask how are you how are you doing how are things hi there hello so there are many ways to say hello but how do you do is not one of them because it's very old-fashioned RHS hello RHS nice to see you here as well I love babies dogs and cats but not mine I agree with you yes now this is the same thought that I have I like to I like to see other people's dogs I like to see other people's cats and sometimes I like to see other people's babies especially when the proud parents are showing off their new baby but the good thing is I don't have to take them home so I don't have a dog I don't have a cat and I definitely I'm pretty sure I don't have a baby pretty sure Belarusia says as we have Mother's Day or Teacher's Day we also have a day for dentists really I'm going to be honest with you I'm quite stunned by that so you actually have dentists day so how do you celebrate it how do you celebrate dentists day do you all walk around with a big smile on your face showing off your lovely clean white teeth thank you Belarusia I'm very intrigued by dentists day I've never heard of that before I'm, I'm quite shocked in fact Ali says we had a poet in Iran named Seperi he said why there is not any vulture in anyone's cage based on this I would like to ask why we like dogs more than wolves well that's very interesting because there are certain types of animal that people never keep and there are other animals that well can be harmful I mean let's not pretend that dogs sometimes can be very dangerous they can bite they can cause serious injury especially to young people or children or even babies it's not unusual for a dog to attack a baby and it has happened so yes I suppose so it's amazing actually the other day the other day I was watching a news report on the television and they were talking about different types of pets that people keep and I was surprised to find out that in this country in the UK there are people who keep monkeys I was quite surprised about that so I, I I didn't think you could keep a monkey at home I thought it was not allowed but apparently there are people who keep monkeys and I know in I think in I want to say Saudi Arabia there are people who keep exotic animals such as tigers and leopards as pets if I'm wrong please correct me 
boo fist says hello sir i was kidding tomorrow there is an act between the christmas carol i saw in your video and my group is going to perform an act of a christmas carol oh i see so boo fest you are actually going to perform a play and the play will be a christmas carol by charles dickens well i hope you have a good time it's a shame mr steve isn't here because mr steve is a bit of an actor did you know that so he likes to act on the stage as well Bayan says i'm watching all your live streams and i'm enjoying them thank you very much by the way if you want to see the captions there there are captions by the way so if you want to see captions if you want to have them on the screen just press that on your keyboard and you will have live captions i'm not joking so there are live captions live subtitles on the screen if you want them all you have to do is press that on your keyboard and then you will be able to see exactly what i'm saying isn't technology amazing zoran what is the difference between i did watch and i watched they are basically the same thing so i did watch something i watched something they are both past tense of something that you did so i watched it i did watch it although having said that i did watch it is is more affirmative are you married mr duncan no i'm not married that is the reason why i look so happy every day because i'm not married <laughs> i have received many greetings today because i am a dentist myself i remember you telling me this belarusia a long time ago but I, I i had almost forgotten so you are celebrating dentists day but i want i want to know how you celebrate it how do you celebrate dentists day do you send little gifts to each other maybe a set of false teeth that that chatter away you know mr duncan i sometimes see in my dreams i see or i i see english in my dreams i listen to english in my dreams can you imagine that i can actually actually i'll be honest with you sally that is a very good sign that you are learning english well so if you are dreaming in english that means that you are really absorbing the language so yeah that's pretty good don't worry about that that is pretty amazing yes mr duncan dogs are very popular in france some people buy dogs but they don't know how to bring them up they don't know how to look after them they don't know how to rear them rear so in that sense when we say rear we mean bring up we mean look after as an animal grows rear so you can rear a dog it means you buy it when it's small and then you take care of it as it grows you rear rear thank you lewis for your information hello rosa dentists used to talk a lot with the patient but unfortunately the patient can't answer because the dentist has their fingers in the patient's mouth so mr jones did you go anywhere on holiday this year oh <laughs> so i know what you mean sometimes when you go to the dentist the dentist will ask you questions despite the fact that your mouth is full of dentist equipment and also the dentist's fingers are in your mouth as well i'm not sure where my fingers have been but they taste disgusting oh dear 
excuse me <laughs> I need a drink of water to get rid of the terrible taste of my fingers it is against the law to have wild animals they have to live free says Noemi yes I I, I, I don't know I don't know what types of animals you can keep here in the UK but I was very surprised to find out that people keep monkeys because I didn't think you were allowed to Martha oh my goodness Martha says I have three dogs eight cats and a parrot that is quite a menagerie you have there menagerie oh there's another interesting word the word menagerie means a collection of animals in one place so maybe a zoo you can refer to a zoo as being a menagerie a place where lots of animals live or are kept Dear Duncan, you are the best teacher in the world. Thank you, Theo. That's very kind of you to say. Now, sometimes I like to look at certain words, and today we are doing exactly that. We are going to take a look at a couple of words. First of all, let's take a look at the word put. And this is a question I was asked the other day. Someone asked, Mr. Duncan, can you please explain the uses of the word put put and there you can hear the word being pronounced put put well there are many uses of the word put we can use put to mean to place as in put on or put in so you place something you put something in a certain place you put something on so maybe you put something on the table or maybe you put something in the cupboard so put can mean to place also to position to position something put over so you might put a tablecloth over the table so you position something you put over you put one thing over another then to fix in place if you fix something in place for example you can put up something maybe you put up a picture on the wall you put up you fix the picture in place on the wall and then to hold an event you can put on a show so again put on means to hold an event you do something you take part in an activity maybe a play or a musical or some sort of performance any type of event you can put on a show put on a concert then to bear or tolerate to bear or tolerate put up with so if you put up with something it means you tolerate it or bear so you tolerate an annoying person you put up with them I don't like Mr. Steve's singing but I have to put up with it I have to put up with it to postpone something can be described as put off so if you postpone something you put off an event you postpone you move it to another day you move it to a later time you postpone you put off something so maybe you are going to have an outdoor show but unfortunately it rains so you have to put off the performance you have to put it off 
also put off can mean discourage so if you don't want someone to do something you might try to put them off you might try to discourage them and finally to accommodate can also be expressed as put up so maybe your friend has come to visit your town but unfortunately they have missed their train back home so you put them up you put up your friend that means you allow them to stay at your house overnight so to accommodate to allow someone to stay with you temporarily is put up so i hope that was helpful some uses of the word put and the ways in which they can be used to express certain things so i hope that was useful to you i do like explaining words and i hope that i explained them clearly hi mr duncan i am fian from indonesia hello to you and i know i have a lot of people watching in indonesia so a big hello to you eric says we have to put up with the neighbor's dog when it is barking i know i know i know exactly what you mean when the neighbor's dog is barking it can be very annoying shall we have a look in the garden because i have this morning i have set up my lovely outdoor camera so we're going to have a look right now because you can see this is a live view in the garden and yes there are some birds can you see the greedy pigeon on the bird cam so i have my live bird camera and you can see there is a pigeon pecking at some of the seeds but earlier today earlier there were loads of birds there were lots and lots of birds all over the bird feeder but of course now because i've got the camera working <laughs> all the birds have disappeared so there you can see some of the birds on the bird feeder in the garden and that is what is happening right now outside my window yes i like nature this is something that i am a big fan of i do like nature very much i am a big fan of animals i love birds because they are lovely to look at and i don't know why i can spend hours and hours watching the birds in the garden so yes i am very very keen on watching birds in fact i like nature in general i like nature i think it would be fair to say hello to sally mr duncan you are so adorable thank you very much that's very kind of you to say mohammed says why are you using shua in the word put i don't know what you mean by that put mr duncan can you explain what is the name of the shop that sells vegetables is it a grocery grocery now a grocery or a lot of people say grocery shop sells lots of things so not just fruit and vegetables even though they will sell those things however they will also sell sell other things as well excuse me my throat my throat is being very annoying today as i said a grocery or grocery shop will sell many different things so the essential things that you need during your day-to-day -day life so bread butter various types of food groceries so when we talk about your groceries it means the things that you normally use or the things that you eat on a daily basis and of course as the week goes by you have to buy more groceries so the groceries are 
the groceries are your essential items the things you need to survive during the week food different types of food including fruit and vegetables so a vegetable shop well quite often you will go to maybe a market so quite often certainly here in the UK there are many towns and cities and on certain days of the week they will have an open market so normally somewhere in the town there will be an area where lots of people sell their produce Mika says I'm a big fan of birds too I've always searched for them while I go for a walk sometimes you don't have to search for them sometimes you can hear them singing and tweeting in the trees above you so yes I love the sounds of the birds I really do so I agree with you Mika I think it's amazing nature is pretty incredible Bayan says can you give me a book to read for improving my English Bayan my advice is choose something to read that you are interested in so maybe the thing that you enjoy listening to or talking about or maybe one of your favorite subjects you can actually get a book that is all about that particular subject so I always advise you if you are going to learn English if you are going to use certain material to help you improve your English a very good thing to do is to do to practice and learn from something you already have an interest in something you are already interested in that is my tip Mr Duncan I am having my lunch and during my lunch I am watching you that's very kind of you to say I will be going soon in around about 10 minutes I will be going here is another word that I've been asked to explain now this is an interesting word it is used a lot in sentences and the word is with with that is a very difficult word to pronounce for some people with 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 the word with is a preposition and it can be used in many ways to describe being alongside or next to if you are joined with someone by association we can say you are with someone you are with a group you are with a company you are with a group of people to be associated can also mean with so with something you are alongside you are next to you are joined you are associated with also your manner or attitude can define the way in which you do something you might do something with a smile or with a sad face so your manner or attitude with can be used to describe the way you are acting to be involved in a relationship you are with a person is that your girlfriend are you with her so in that sense it means to be in a relationship oh something you are wearing or your appearance you are wearing something you are with a certain item of clothing your appearance the way you look we can use with to describe what you are wearing or the way you look your appearance to be affected by something like last week last week I was affected with a cold so I was ill with a cold so to be affected by something 
or to have some illness or something that is causing you problems you are affected by it and to go in the same direction as something else you are going with them you are going with someone I'm going with my friend to the shop you are both going in the same direction you are going with them so I hope that was useful uses of the word with wow if there is anything else you want me to explain maybe tomorrow or next week please let me know I will be going in around five minutes let's see what's happening on the live chat Mr Duncan would you like to give me some popular British slang well some slang that we use might also be a little bit rude so quite often we will use slang words or euphemisms for things that might be unpleasant or maybe rude so that is worth mentioning sometimes slang words can be a little offensive Eric we are learning English with Mr Duncan thank you Eric I'm glad that you you think that way I'm glad that you feel that way Abdu hello sir I am from Chad in Africa do you know my country I have heard of Chad I have heard of it it is in Africa yes I have heard of it I think it's North North Africa if I'm not mistaken I think it's North I want to say Wow I'm really putting myself on the spot now oh dear I want to say North West am I right <laughs> oh dear oh North West Africa Chad I'm pretty sure of it if I'm wrong then you can write to me and correct me RHS I learn English with you or from you I learn English from you so you can learn something from another person or if you are in a class together physically you can learn with someone so when we say with it normally means with a group so you are learning with you are going along with everyone else in the room you are doing the same action you are doing the same thing and of course you are learning from so that means the information the information is being transferred from one person to another so you are learning from them so the things I say come from me and hopefully they will help you with your English so you are learning from me I hope that helps Mr Duncan could you please explain the grammar of would next time okay I will make a note of that I'm not sure if I will do it tomorrow but I will do it at some point okay okay I am going in three minutes just three minutes Al says what is the most incredible thing you ever saw in your life I suppose things that always stay in my memory are moments of kindness and also nature so things that happen in nature quite often stay in my memory or in my mind but there are so many things I suppose the most obvious one is sunset there is nothing more magnificent than watching a sunset so that might be one of the most amazing things I've seen even though I've seen it many times thank you RHS for your lovely message there with a little help from my friend one of my favorite songs of the Beatles says Mika oh yes I'll get by with a little help from Mr Duncan and his English lessons I will be back tomorrow I'm back tomorrow I'm not joking 
31 days of English lessons coming your way here are the times on the screen right now Monday to Friday 2 p.m. UK time I will be with you on Saturday as well 12 p.m. just after lunch and of course I will be with you on Sunday as well <laughs> Wow of course the big question is will I make it through to the end of October will I survive this very long 31 days of October find out at the end of the month so I'm back tomorrow thank you to Belarusia thank you to Mohammed thank you to Al also Alexandra Ale Alexandra sorry I mispronounced your name there <laughs> Long Nguyen Anna I will see you tomorrow it is two minutes away from three o'clock this is Mr Duncan saying thanks a lot for watching today let's have another look at the birds oh look at that the birds are in the garden well they were I don't know why it's almost as if the birds know that they're being filmed it's almost as if they know that the camera is watching them oh, very spooky and that is it the lovely view outside of course in the distance it is a murky misty day I will see you tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time thank you Zaran thank you Tariq I will see you tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow don't forget make it a date oh and it's Friday tomorrow so I think you might be in a good mood because the weekend is just around the corner for you this is Mr Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for watching see you later and of course you know what's coming next yes you do until tomorrow ta-ta for now